Hello and welcome to this video short about AUX Trace. This video is aimed at anyone who uses the Enterprise Server family of products and who needs to generate and provide additional diagnostics. The video will explain how to enable AUX Trace in an Enterprise Server region and in particular how to modify the AUX Trace flags while ensuring they don't adversely affect performance and throughput. So what we're going to see now is that when we enable AUX Trace we can know what effect it will have on a region. We will be using the monitor feature in Enterprise Server to view the current region throughput and we can keep returning to the monitor view to see what effect enabling certain additional trace settings have so that we can be sure that the effect on region throughput is minimized or at least known in advance. And furthermore, the methods described here provide a method by which any additional trace need only be enabled for the minimum amount of time, again minimizing the overall effect on the region and its throughput. So when your region requires additional trace to be set up and the region is currently running, we can go into SMAC in order to enable the AUX trace settings. And this also gives us the opportunity to determine whether the setting of the AUX trace flags is going to adversely affect the performance of the region. So in this case, if we go to the SMAC screen and on the control page, we can see what the current trace settings are for this region. And here we can see that the AUX trace is active. And that means we are tracing out to a file at the moment. And additionally, we can see that the A file is the file that's being written to at the moment. Further down here on this screen, we can see the trace points that have been set. So at the moment, in this particular region, we have the SAF security trace flag set, the KCP and the KIX API trace flag set. If I wanted to take all the tracing off, for example, unchecking those flags and clicking apply. So now the trace is off, um, AUX trace is still active. We can actually uncheck that as well. So this is now disabled all the auxiliary trace for a region and you can see the message at the top here having taken the aux trace off any existing information has now just been flushed out to the casauxta.rec file which is in my system directory for this region now one thing we can use here are these the monitor buttons so we can see the monitor for the one minute interval or the monitor for the 15 minute interval will show us the times that are being recorded for task throughput. So the tasks per second in that period and the average time for one task in centiseconds and any latency that there was before the task started. So by looking at the tasks per second here, we can see if they have been affected by any of the trace settings. So by going into the control tab and, for example, switching all the trace on. So all those checkboxes are checked and back in the one minute monitor or the 15 minute monitor is the number of tasks per second being affected by that trace. And we can let it run for several minutes and see if this is the case or not. Additionally, we would typically have the auxiliary trace active with all those flags, clicking apply. So now we have all the tracing on and we're writing out to disk. So again, we can now sit here and monitor over the next few minutes, has the task throughput changed or not? And the reason we're doing this is so that you have confidence that by setting certain trace flags, you're not affecting the performance of your region and you can leave these trace flags on. More typically, you won't have all the trace flags on, so let's start with turning them off. And the ones that we normally have by default would be the KCP and the KICS API. So this would be the standard default. And these are the minimum recommended trace flags for a production system, having KCP and the KICS API trace flag set. So we can build up a picture here, looking in the monitor, how, it, how is our tasks per second uh, showing? And assuming that there is no problem with that current trace setting, uh, we're happy to leave that in that situation. Now for ongoing diagnostics, we would like 
these trace flag settings to be in the region that start up. And the way that would be implemented for this particular region, we would go to the Diagnostics tab and we would have the Auxiliary Trace Active flag set. And here we have the Task Control and the Application flag. Task Control is the KCP flag, Application is the Kix API flag. So having those set there means that whenever I start the region, those two flags will be set, the auxiliary trace active will be set, and in addition here we have the dump on system abend flag set, which is another of our minimum recommended requirements for production. So that's how we do that in the region. Back in SMAC, in the control tab, this is how this would be shown. So once we get here, we can now additionally set specific trace flags to trace a problem that might be occurring at this time. And this would be something that you may have been advised to set from support line staff. So you may need to increase the level of tracing for a particular problem, particularly if you can reproduce the problem and you want to add trace, reproduce the problem and then, then turn the trace off. This is the place you do that. Furthermore, if you use the switch, button on the trace flag just before you run your test so clicking switch there we're now switching to the other file so everything we do from now on will go into the casorx tb file so we can now switch our tracing on we might want to switch application container on and we might want to switch on sql api we might want to switch on some other kicks flags the pcp flag there and then uh, we can click on apply so everything is now being traced to the B file. It shows you that the B is active. We've got extra tracing on. We can now go away, run our test. And then when we finish running the test, we can switch these trace flags back off. The PCP, the application container, SQL, leaving the basic ones on. Click apply. And we can even then switch back to the A trace file, which means that anything that's written to the B is now purely for that test. This is the file that has now caught all our information. So when that's provided support, we know that it's got the trace level we want and it has only the reproduced case that we were interested in in this case. So when we run the MFES Diags script to capture the diagnostics, it will include the Casorx TB.rec file as well as all the other good files that we require. So all you need to do is run that file, collect the diagnostics and upload it to the incident. I hope this video now allows you to control AUKS trace in your regions and enables you to set both the minimum recommended traces for a production system and any additional trace flags required for specific diagnosis with good knowledge of any effect on region throughput that these flags may have. For further information on this and other enterprise server diagnostics, please visit the support line site to review the troubleshooting pack. Thank you for watching. Thank you.